Get up again. I'd like to first announce James Patrick, head baseball coach, Public High School. Here of coaching, Patrick's strategy has remained constant, teaching the fundamentals. Make sure no one has outworked us and keep a good sense of humor. This philosophy has resulted in an overall record of 633 wins, 217 losses, and two fouls, 11 league championships, and seven section championships. Two of his teams finished ranked number one nationally. Fellow coach, Mike Notes says of James Patrick, He's the complete package as a high school baseball coach. He knows how to coach from being a leader, motivator, instructor, and strategist. Whenever you play Clovis, you know you're going to play a well-prepared and motivated team. Coach Patrick is most proud of his two sons who has followed in his footsteps. Kevin at Clovis West and Chris Patrick here at Clovis North. Jack Hanna, Fresno Athletic Hall of Fame the He scored athlete at Fresno State. Jack did six seasons in the minor leagues. He then went on to coach at Uber High School, where he had five NYL titles and two Valley Championships. Jack was named the California High School Baseball Coach of the Year in 1980 and was also inducted into the National High School Hall of Fame. Now, more famous for his other passion, singing, The Sons of the San Joaquin. Jack, Jack's brother, Joe, and Joe's son, Lonnie, have become one of the most successful cowboy singing groups across the globe. They have all been inducted into the National Songwriters Hall of Fame. Introducing Jack Hanna. Takashi Biver Uriyama. Fresno Athletic Hall of Fame inductee 1989. Biver was a two sport athlete at Fresno State. Four years of varsity baseball, three years of varsity football. The quickness that allowed him to set a school record for stolen bases also carried over to football as a hard nosed, elusive running back. Biver was involved in the Japanese major leagues for almost from the beginning. Playing on the field with no stands, no lights, no restrooms, and supported only by donations. This was in sharp contrast to the large stadiums of today with the huge fan support. Fibber played and managed 11 years for the Hiroshima Parks and is considered a legend in Japan as well as the U.S. He is credited for paving the way for Japanese players to be playing today in our major leagues. Introducing. Satoshi Fibber, here we are. Summer, Fresno State Baseball Wall of Fame inductee, 2001. A two-sport athlete at Fresno State, Tom played on the 1961 Mercy Bowl football team and was also distinguished himself on the ball diamond. He was an infielder and led the team in runs scored and two base hits. And base hits, excuse me. He signed and played three years of minor league baseball but because of his maturity and his leadership skills, in 1964, at the age of 24, he became the youngest manager in professional baseball. Soon after, he became an executive for the Angels organization and was named director of the minor league operations and farm director. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Tom Summers. I'd like to introduce Bob Bennett. All Fame inductee, 1990. Bob Bennett is a former head baseball coach of Fresno State University and one of the top winning Division I coaches of all time. His career record of 1,302 wins ranks among the top 10 of the all-time victory list. During 34 seasons from 1970 to 2002 at Fresno State, Bennett led his teams to extraordinary success, winning or sharing 17 conference titles and making two trips to the College World Series. Bennett is known for his fundamentally sound ball club, 
More than 200 of his players were taken in the regular phase of the annual June amateur draft, including nine first round picks. 36 of his players became major league players. Bob was honored for the following achievements. Conference Coach of the Year 14 times, NCAA Coach of the Year 1988, the Lefty Gomez Award for his lifetime contributions, and member of six Hall of Fames, including the National College Baseball Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Bennett. Next, I'd like to introduce Terry Cooney, Major League Outfire, American League, and Fresno Athletic Hall of Fame inductee 2002. Terry Cooney was a star football player coming out of high school with a promising college career ahead of him as a fullback and linebacker. But a knee injury ended that dream. Terry found enjoyment in serving as an official in various sports and decided to enroll in the famous Dougherty Umpire Training Camp. After graduation and six years in the minor leagues, he got the call to report to the major leagues in 1974. He reported to Anaheim Stadium to call a game between the California Angels and the Minnesota Twins. What a start. Nolan Ryan threw a no-hitter and struck out 15. Mr. Cooney's career spanned 18 years in the American League, including calling All-Star games, ALCS playoffs, and World Series. Ladies and gentlemen, Terry Cooney. Bobby Jones. Right-handed pitcher Bobby Jones was one of the best pitchers in Fresno State history. A 32-9 record with 16 saves. He also led the Bulldogs to the College World Series in 1991. The same year, he was an All-American and an NCAA Player of the Year. Mr. Jones was drafted in the supplemental first round by the New York Mets. He made quick work of the minors moving to the Major League roster after only two years. Jones had a 10-year Major League career and pitched for the National All-Star team, striking out well-known Ken Griffey Jr. and Mark McGuire. Most of the postseason highlights was facing the Giants and fellow Fresno State alumnus Mark Gardner. Jones and Gardner co-founded the Step to the Plate Foundation, an organization dedicated to helping families of transplant recipients. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Jones. Next, I'd like to announce Len Burdett. Fresno Athletic Hall of Fame inductee, 1975. A three-year letterman in baseball at Fresno State, he also played basketball. Mr. Burdett was one of the best defensive infielders in Fresno State history. After five seasons of minor league baseball, he launched a 31-year career as head coach of the Fresno City College Rams. His third season started a string of six league championships and three state titles. He also won a fourth state championship in 1972. During his career, his Rams won 15 conference championships, then retired in 1988 as the winningest junior college coach in state history. 722 wins with 374 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Len Burdett. Inductee, 1996. Coach Mike Noakes, whose Bullard High School teams won 16 league championships and five section titles, was known as the fiercest of competitors who relished the battle and gave orders until the last out. His respect for discipline and fundamentals is legendary in the Valley and the state. Noakes played baseball at Fresno High School during the late 50s with Jim Maloney, Dick Ellsworth, Pat Corrales, and then later at UC Berkeley. Coaching is his passion, and Bowler teams reflected his personality. They were ranked number one in the state four times, and number one in the nation in, number, in 1990 and 1993. 
One of Coach Noak's best teams, 1977, went 31, 1 and 1, and sent three players to the major leagues. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Noak. I'd like to introduce Jim Maloney. Athletic Hall of Fame inductee 1963, Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame inductee 1973, a fireball right-handed pitcher from Fresno High, Maloney's fastball was clock at 99 miles an hour, which helped him win 134 major league games. He struck out over 1,500 hitters, a Cincinnati Reds record to this day. Maloney appeared in his first major league game with the Reds in 1960, and after 12 years went down in history as one of the greatest pitchers ever to wear a Cincinnati Red uniform. Jim's most wins in a season totaled 23, with two no-hitters in 1963. <coughs> two of his Fresno High teammates also had successful careers in the major leagues. Dick Ellsworth was a pitcher for the Chicago Cubs, and Pat Corrales, a catcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. There were many who believed Jim Maloney had the qualifications to be in the Baseball National Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Maloney. I'd like to introduce, and he's not here tonight, but we're still going to talk about him, because he is part of the legend, Dr. Floyd B. Buchanan. Floyd Doc Buchanan became Clovis Unified's first superintendent in 1960 when he combined seven individual school districts. During his 31 years as superintendent, he led Clovis District to one of the most recognized in the nation. His philosophy, keep kids busy and you'll keep them out of trouble. Our legends here tonight will tell you the Clovis fields are better than many of the college fields and minor league fields they have played on and second to none at this high school level. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and thank Floyd Buchanan. Next, I'd like to introduce Merv Carter. Coach Carter first came to Fresno in 1955 with his American Legion baseball team from Oakland to win the California Championship at John Euless Ballpark and returned in 1958 when he recruited when he was recruited by Pete Biden to play for the Bulldogs. Carter played center field from 1958 to 1960 and was on the 59 team that finished third in the College World Series in Omaha. Carter started his coaching career at Clovis High School and was the coach that Dr. Buchanan asked, what kind of baseball field would you like? He coached the first game at Lloyd Merriman Field in 1970 against Tulare, coached by his college teammate catcher, Jim Garrett. Merv coached baseball for 27 years and his successes coming at McLean High School. Two Valley Championships, six league titles, and three division titles. He later became Director of Athletics and Physical Education for Fresno Unified School District. Coach Carter continues baseball as Director of the City County All-Star Baseball Game, played annual at Chichancy Park. Ladies and gentlemen, Merv Carter. <laughs> at this time, could we please give another round of applause for our legends of the game. very first pitch is the living legend of Clovis Unified. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field, Nancy Mueller. <laughs> Nancy is in her 39th year of the district's first national cheerleading championship in 1989. Nancy was a Crystal Award winner in 1997 for Secondary Teacher of the Year. Recently, Clovis High School's Pep and Cheer program will now recognize their top student athletes and that student's name will be embroidered into a blanket style award that will hang in the gymnasium at Clovis High. The award will be known as the Mueller Award. 
Nancy will be retiring at the end of this school year as she has spent 39 years with the district. And as a retirement gift, the CN Baseball Program got her the jersey she's wearing this evening. <laughs> with her tonight is her husband, Jerry. <laughs> By the way, happy birthday, Jerry. Her son, Matt, and her mom, Francis. Okay, Nancy, you're on. When you're ready, fire it in there. Yeah. Yeah. Get that?